Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on your Mac using the Bootcamp Assistant tool. Um, the reason for me wanting to install Windows 7 is because there's not a lot of games out there for the Mac, but there's loads of games out there obviously for the P PC. So my plan is just to have, have the Mac here for when I'm designing stuff, doing work, etc. And then just boot up as the Windows 7, boot up as a PC um, when I want to play games. Um, so what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need um, a Windows 7 ISO that has to be a 64-bit version. Um, I got mine from a friend, but um, I'm sure you know how to get your version of Windows 7 one way or another. Um, and then the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a USB. Um, I'm using uh, a one terabyte Samsung hard drive, which I bought for 40 pounds off Amazon. Um, I didn't buy it specifically for this, I bought it because I just store loads of films on it. Um, this is it here. So um, first thing you're going to want to do is, so obviously you plug in your USB, um, then go to your utilities, and then in your utilities there will be the boot camp assistant. So click that, press continue. Leave all these ticked if you want. Um, then here it's going to ask you for the directed to the ISO image for the Windows 7 file. So in my downloads, my Windows 7 and the ISO is here. This is the Windows 7 ISO. Press open on that. So now that's the directory set up. And this just just so you do know that um, all the data on the hard drive or USB, which whatever you're using, will be formatted. So any data you got on it will be lost. I made a little backup here of all the stuff that was on my hard drive right there. So you can do that as well. Ignore that. So yes, the drive will be erased. Format and selected drive. Um. I'm not going to use this, no. Um, here yeah, I'm going to give, say about, say about a game, probably about what? About a game or t about a game is about what ten gig at maximum. So give about a hundred, yeah, hundred and three gig is enough for me. I think Windows, yeah, hundred and three. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it a hundred and three. So I just shut down the Mac. Um, of course I can't screen capture so I have to change my mobile phone to show this part so let's switch the Mac back on and hopefully we get the option to boot up as a Windows computer rather than Apple so let's see Taking a bit longer than normal. And as you can see, it says booting from boot cam assistant created. And look, Windows is loading. Now Windows is starting. And I guess that's how you boot up 
your Mac so it's now a PC of course you can just you do all these settings yourself and it is pretty basic so yeah that's how you turn your Mac into a PC